Hello, Majestic Council. It's Majestic X, and today is going to be a different topic today because we got to talk about money and sports right now. And I want to talk about John Morant. And everybody know everything that happened with John Morant from the live to the strip club to the money being thrown to the Foot Locker incident with the kid, all that, right? All of this stuff surrounding a supposed $233 million, you know, contract extension that he was supposed to get, right? But I guess people don't read, you know, loopholes. In order for you to get that certain contract, you have to, you know, it's things called um, clauses and uh, things that you have to do, task, duties that you have to complete in order to get these things done. And one of those things for John Morant to get that 233 to $250 contract extension was he had to make an all-NBA team. How does a guy that averaged basically 30 points this whole season, had his team the second seed, don't get NBA first or second team. How does that work? And now, since he didn't make an all, uh, all NBA team, he can't get that contract no more because of that one task. So since they magically just didn't put him in there, now the most he can get is 192. Now, I'm not mad. 192 is still basically 200 mil. So basically, you know, they lost you like 39 million from what I heard. The estimate was he lost around 39 million for not making the um, all NBA team. But at the end of the day, I just felt like the problem with sports is that these people put outside problems into the sports thing and make it rule sports. If that's like saying that people at your job care about what you do outside, then you can get fired from your outside, from doing outside stuff that can, you know, ruin your job. And I, and I feel like that's dumb because um, it's a lot of players who did stuff when they was off of work, but came into work and did they did their job great and nobody cared about it, you know? So y'all only doing it to this man for one reason. Y'all want to make an example out of niggas for real. And I see that. And it's like um, everybody else just said, this, oh, he should never did this and that and third. But that had nothing to do with him. That, 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 that had nothing to do with them. Not him, them. What he does on an NBA court has nothing to do with what happens <clears throat> outside that arena. Now, mind you, he had a gun in the arena. That kind of did not help neither. But the all NBA teams, I thought the criteria was who played like an all NBA, all star type of person. He did. He does not mind you. Okay, all the outside obstacles hindered you from being a first team, but he still could have been a second team. It's the same thing with T.O. They had they held him up so many years, all because of outside stuff. He didn't have no problems in the NFL. All the outside stuff and how people quote unquote hated him is what hindered his Hall of Fame. And I feel like that's wrong. But when you don't own nothing, you don't have no word according to them. The people who rich have the the right say so because they made the money so obviously they right and people who broke wrong you know what i'm saying that's how they make it seem so i just want to know what, what y'all think on it love peace and everything in between stay majestic majestic council majestic x out